And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn. It's been a while, but here we are back again. This is a game called Overture by Black Shell Games. Uh, it's currently available on Steam. It is completed. Not early access, but the Kickstarter ended just a little while ago. It's kind of weird, kind of a strange um, timeline for funding when the game is like done, but uh, it's okay. Um, if you check out Black Shell Games' website, you can actually get a demo for this game and a bunch of other games. And they have a couple other games that are actually, I think, one other game in early access, I believe. It's like art, an RPG game or something. But I don't know, let's play this one. Anyway, um, how this game works is, you can see, it's already like an iPad-like layout. It's kind of strange. Um, it runs in a weird resolution. It kind of like gets stretched to full screen, but it looks okay. I don't know exactly how that works, but eh, whatever. Uh, how you begin is you choose which kind of character you want to start with. It's a very simple UI here. Um, do you want to be a warrior, a rogue, mage, or shaman? Uh, I think I'm going to be a rogue. I've already played a little bit. Uh, you can see my ranger is tier 4. Uh, I actually spent in-game currency. No, there's no microtransactions. It's all in-game currency. And uh, you can actually unlock other duders if you wish. But I've just been like leveling up the main guy right away. So let's just get into the game and show you what it's all about. It reminds me kind of like Binding of Isaac. A little bit. But there aren't... There are floors... Let's see, running fast is a very important mechanic for boss fights. Oh, good to know. Um, I die every time I fight a boss, so maybe that'll help me. Maybe they should make the running mechanic a little simpler if it requires such a big explanation. So here we go, I hit that weapon rack and I got a new weapon. I can right click to change my weapon. It's green text, meaning it's better. I actually have no equipment, so that helps. And here we go, left click is just my regular attack. And you uh, gotta clear out the floor and kill all the enemies. You have health and you have mana. Uh, Using my mana ability, right click, is basically just like that. Just like a spread shot kind of thing. Oh jeez, I'm getting messed up. Oh, that's a, that's a named skeleton. There are named enemies all over the place. Uh, you do want to clear out the whole level so you can level up and get strong before you actually fight the boss. I've only defeated one of the bosses once, and that's because something crazy happened where I had like 300 people following me and helping me, and we just kind of alphaed, alphaed him like right off the field. It was pretty good. But uh, I really enjoy how all the numbers all pop up and stuff. This, oh, there we go. It, it hasn't gotten crazy yet. It does, the combat does get a little more insane as you go on. Bahamut the Brute, another named guy. I assume they just give you more XP for the named dudes. They have more HP, so it makes sense. Let's see here, murder you, thank you. Grab all your stuff. So I'm at full health again. And if you open these crates, you get an NPC and uh, he will follow you around help you out, which is always very nice. I like to have friends. Uh, one of the weird things I notice in this game is see how loot will drop off the edge. You can sometimes grab it, but oftentimes if it's an item, you can't actually get over there and get it, so that's kind of weird. And that's instant XP book. That's very fun. But this is pretty much the gist of the game, honestly. Um, there's these like overhangs that you can't see under unless you walk there, which is kind of bizarre. Got another item. Uh, magic was that? I don't know. Looks like margarine. Gotta level up margarine. Get some butter in your diet. Kill the zombie. I think that one's headless. I don't know. It's very inspired by, like, 16-bit, 8-bit art style, as are most games nowadays. Let's be honest. Let's see here. Kill this mummy. There's always mummies everywhere. Kill the wizard. Kill the mummy. It's very, uh, I haven't gotten to some shit yet. There we go. Get all the treasure, get a level up. You don't actually choose abilities or anything. I think it's just a flat, you get a bonus to everything when you level up. You can look at your stats. I, I think it's the escape key, but I don't want to hit the escape key because if I hit the escape key and it exits the game, I'm gonna be real butt sore. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, maybe it's middle? Oh, that's just some weird pause thing. Huh. Uh -huh. Let's just continue. Murder all these guys. Murder all these guys. The levels uh, seem to be randomly generated. The art styles are different every time. Sometimes like the first level will be in a cave, not outside. I think this is outside. Although there are those pillars that are holding up something, so I don't know what that's about. You can destroy these uh, blockades so you can get easier access to the enemies. I like playing these kind of games ranged. It reminds me very much of like a Diablo kind of combat where just firing from afar, trying not to get attacked. I like to play glass cannon characters in pretty much any kind of game like this where you're uh, 
just top-down combat. So I like to just stay far away, not have to worry about like popping health potions. In this game, there are no health potions that you pop, you just pick them up, so... It even behooves you to uh, continue to play that way. That guy looks cool, but he's dead now, so... Fuck him, I guess. There's a, uh... Oh, there we go. Kill the gravestone, and... Get, uh, insta-popped by a bunch of crazy skeleton guys. Look at him dance, they're so happy. There, I made it to level 2. Kills 99, gold 682. That's fine. Let's try a different class. I think I had a warrior. There's also, let's see, mages. Oh yeah, I had an invoker and I had a regular wizard. Let's play the regular wizard. Uh, see, I, I gained money from that run so I can actually upgrade stuff if I want to. Can I actually unlock anything? That's 2,000 unlock something. Uh, I think some classes are even more expensive than that. Let's just play regular ass wizard. Remember, stop attacking, run towards your mouse, and a white trail will appear. Okay, sounds good. Uh, this is only keyboard and mouse, by the way. There are, is no controller support. I like this, where he just shoots all this freaking fire everywhere. It's pretty nice. The music's not bad, either. Uh, I haven't heard a whole variety of tracks, but... I also haven't played that much. Here we go. Uh, my special attack with this is just kind of like little arrows flying everywhere until I run out of mana. Oh, I got two specials. Two special duders. Get away from me. Uh, so basically the gist is you want to get better equipment and get the best equipment you can on the level you currently are on before you continue onward, otherwise you will not win. <laughs> uh, so you got to kind of clear the whole floor. Oh, jeez, what is that? Just like some fun, like evil fog? All right, here we go. Murder that guy, kill this, murder all these. I like this. Just like big crazy balls of fire everywhere. It gets, it's, I don't know. I like games like this, especially when there's just insane amounts of enemies on the screen and you kind of wipe them all out. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Jeez, I just don't know what that green fog is. That's really scary to me. I don't know if I should just straight up run or just like barrel into it. I mean, green fog. Probably bad for you, I, I, if I had to guess. Oh, get a C to help me. Oh, it's my same friend. Hey, friend. There's actually a wide variety of different NPCs. They all do different stuff. But, uh... Now I'm just, uh, luck of the draw. I got the same butcher guy who died pretty much instantly last time. Oh, hey, Vjord, Vorad, Vorad the Bulwark. You did. Another barbarian skeleton. Some wizards. Oh! Those Minotaurs are beastly. And I mean that in a way, not that the obvious way, where he's a freaking beast man. Ah, oh, I got exploded into blood just everywhere. And that just kind of happens to me. Just kind of get plowed. Oh, there's a boss right there. Just a mini boss. All right, maybe we'll try a melee guy. And keep in mind, these characters I'm playing have been upgraded. I can actually upgrade this guy again to tier four. It just gives them better base stats whenever you upgrade them, so it makes it easier. And starting out with a fresh character, the game's really hard. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just because I'm terrible, because I am. Oh, look, I can actually go to the next floor and fight the boss right away. Um, even the melee guy, this melee guy anyway, is pretty far range. Oh, look, it's like an invisible ghost man. I don't know if you can even see that on the recording. There we go. Kill all these. Oh, jeez. Ah! Invisible man! Stay away. Uh, I'm not gonna break that tombstone right away. That seems like a bad idea. Let's right-click and see what we do here. See, that's like helpful, Green Fog. What are you?! What is this?! <laughs> see, I played for like a few hours, and I'm starting to see a lot of stuff that I have not seen yet. So, that makes me happy. But, uh, this actually terrifies me as well. Alright, let's do the run mechanic before you run away. I need this. Get away. Don't. Better weapon. Fantastic. Alright, let's just, uh, Nova this. I don't know. Will this edge kill me? Oh, jeez. I'm taking a lot of damage. Die. Die, 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 die. Nova. Die, 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 die. All right, well, now I'm in a really bad situation because I, I pulled all these other guys. Oh, jeez. I need health. Drop health. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's not 
it's not a simple game. I mean, it's a simple game. I'm just, I think I'm just bad. Like, I, I think I'm just absolutely terrible. Um, shamans, what's a shaman? Oh, the cleric. Like, every time I play a new class in this, it becomes my new favorite class. Like, all of them play a little bit differently. And I'm trying to find the one, because you know there's going to be one that's just ridiculously overpowered. Look at this guy, he just shoots all this light. Oh, those are my light beams. Yeah, alright. Get some treasure. Get, get shot in the face right off the bat, that's always nice. Get some magic. Oh, that's a friend, alright. Get some defense. Yeah, armor, that's helpful. I haven't gotten that yet in my like, last three playthroughs. Here we go, just nuke everything. Right click, kind of like set everything on electrical. That looks like electricity, right? I don't, I can't tell. I really like damage numbers. That's one of my favorite things. When just damage numbers pop up everywhere, it makes you feel like you're doing something. God, I think, yeah, that one's worse. See how it says uh, red to defense? But before I walked over it, it didn't say that. It's because it's like, it's actually a mechanic where you gotta go check and be like, is this better? No, all right, I'm gonna leave now. And then I'll actually let you continue to know that by leaving it up on the screen, which is nice. It's a nice touch. Some of my problem with this game is that I can never, or when I have all these guys with me, or even when I don't have, like, friends with me, I, it's kind of hard to tell which one is which, like, who my guy is. Oh, it's all green goo everywhere. We've already learned that green is bad. Murder everything, give me some money. Uh, I, I don't want to walk on the green goo. That seems... I think it's okay to walk in. Hold on. Am I taking damage? No, I'm not. Just walk slower. Oh, jeez. It's a tree. It's a really angry tree. Okay. Use my specials. I nuked him. This guy seems a lot stronger than uh, all the other people I've been playing. <laughs> hey, look at that. I have all this, like, this light beam just, like, follows them and does damage without me shooting anymore. That's really nice. If I can just hide and just keep shooting, eventually my homing uh, light beam things just kill everything, right? Uh, that's that's equally good armor, so it still comes up as worse. Screw that guy. Ah, electricity! Oh, shield. Electricity! Alright, I'm out of that, so I'm just gonna run and continue firing until they all die. Seems a lot e this class seems a lot easier, because those homing light beam things are kind of crazy. I just have to stand here and just hold left uh, mouse button. Get some free XP there. Let's see. Let's actually try and get to a boss this time, instead of just uh, whelping every single run. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Uh, yeah, man, those light beams. Shield. My shield's better. It's nice that I'm getting equipment, too. It's very useful. Very useful. Grab all the gold, grab all the money, grab all the mana points. Mana point potions. Alrighty. Get down here. Oh, jeez. Then you get into a world of shit where you just kind of walk away. Stop shooting fire at me. Stop shooting fire at me. Alright. Go in this corner and get all this stuff before you fight that guy who's shooting those like crazy beams of death at me. Better ring, nice. Got an NPC, very nice. Alright. Gotta be kind of methodical working your way through here. Oh geez, fine. Let's just kill the freaking thing. Just nuke everything. Nice. Much easier when you have a guy who has crazy overpowered uh, abilities. Hey, better armor. That's also helpful. Let's see here. Let's go for the guy. Nuke, 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 nuke him. I don't like that. What is that? Let's just stand here. And, oh, jeez. Not, don't stand there. Why are you standing there? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think, I think he's standing on the uh, stairs to the actual boss. There we go. That's usually how it works. Oh, more magic. Magic find, even. Is that magic find? It won't tell me if I mouse over. I just don't know exactly how this would play on a pad. On, like, an iPad or something. It seems like the kind of game that wouldn't do that very well, but I don't know. 
I don't even know what's available on that. It just, the home screen just looks like it's laid out to be for a tablet. So I don't know what their plans are, or even if that does exist, but yeah. Here we go. Get the named guy. Let's try and get the best equipment we can before we fight this boss. I think we're doing all right. I think we're gonna make it to the boss this time, which is nice. Get an NPC friend. Trying to get as many NPC friends collected as we can before we do this. Uh, there's a lot of named guys around. Gotta also do the old uh, Diablo strategy where you don't pull enemies that you're not ready to fight. Uh, that's worse armor. Oh. And guys are just like, uh, running me down and killing me. That's nice. Get some HP. Alright. Screw it. Going to the boss. And, uh, I usually die instantly on these, so, um... Let's see what happens. Alright. See, I gotta run towards... See, I gotta run... Let's just... Yep. <laughs> so, like, basically every boss I fought in this has been... They charge you down and hit you no matter what you're doing, no matter if you're running or not. So, that's pretty typical. I usually get popped, like, right away. So, yeah. But, um, that's Overture. It's, uh, there's a free demo out there. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out yourself. I think it's okay. Uh, I'm not good at it. <laughs> uh, it also doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of depth. Like, no matter how many times I played the first floor over and over, because that's as far as I can freaking get, really. Um... There's not a whole lot of different things happening, besides that one run where that one boss appeared that I've never seen before. But that seems cool. That's all random. Uh, I've cleared out the first floor several... Bleh, dozens of times. And uh, I haven't seen that yet. I've only ever seen the green blob guy show up. So that was cool. To see something a little bit different. I don't know if things are dependent on the class you're doing, or... It's just completely random. So, I don't know. Seems pretty cool. I have no idea what this could have cost, by the way. Um, but you should check it out. There's a demo, so why wouldn't you try it? But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.